Hello and welcome to another one of our demonstration videos. Today's video will look at two features on the CCTV systems that we sell. The first feature is called line crossing, another feature is called intrusion detection. What they both are is on a picture you would create an, a line for, for line crossing anyway and if somebody crossed that line it would notify you in some sort of way that you set up and again intrusion detection is you Basically, it's very similar, except this time you, you make a box and anybody entering the box, it would notify you as well. So I'll show you how to set it up and then we'll give you a demonstration of it working. It's the easiest way to explain it, I think. So using your mouse, you log into the machine and up on the top, you'll see system. So we'll click on that. Down on the left hand side, you will see event. So we'll click on that and below that, you'll see smart event on that as well. Now working your way from the top here, the first thing we'll set up is line crossing. So top box you'll see all your cameras so if you click on it it'll expand them and we're going to use the side camera so we'll select that. The next three boxes you see is you'll see line crossing or intrusion detection which we were talking about. So you select which one you want so I'm going to use line crossing so click on it. Make sure you enable it. Okay. What you should see here is your picture. So this is where we're going to draw the line. Um, and over on the right hand side, there's different features, there's different options here as well, but I'll show you these shortly. I think we'll draw the line first. So I'll zoom you in so you can get a better, a better look at that. So just bear with me two seconds as we're all set up for a wider picture. There we go. So on the picture, Below it, you'll see, well, below the picture, you'll see draw line. So we'll click on that and using the mouse, we'll draw the line here right at the front of our building. So click it, you'll see a blue dot over here, another dot. So on the line, you see an, an A and B. I'll try and zoom in a little bit more. So on this line, if somebody crosses it going either way, either coming in or going out, it'll notify us. I'll show you what the notifications do as well and where they are in a second. Other way you can do this is there's a, a direction option. So you can say, only want to know when they're coming in. So you should see it there, there's an arrow just coming in the way, but it's not going out. So it'll notify me when someone comes in, but not when they're leaving. And again, you can do that the other way around and you can say, don't tell me when they're coming in, but tell me when they're going out. So on this video, we'll do it both ways. So I'll zoom you back out again, so you can see the other features involved. I'll just move you back. It just takes a couple of seconds to get it right. There we go. So the next thing, just make sure you click apply down to the very bottom there in blue. So we'll just store that just now. Next option along, you've got arming schedule. So at the moment, our, our system is recording all the time. And then what you can do is if it's blue, it'll notify us every time somebody crosses that line. These are the days of the week, which you can obviously see, and your hours are along the top here. So at all, every day, at all times of the day, it'll notify somebody um, that's you know, somebody's crossed the line. If, for example, you only wanted to know if somebody crosses the line at at certain times of the day, you just remove the blue blocks here that you see. So you click none. So say from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., you don't want to be notified of somebody crossing that line Monday to Friday. So all you do is you just remove them. Okay? So during the day now, nobody's, it's not going to notify us that somebody's crossed the line. You can have them completely different each day of the week. You just pick, you know, what you want. I have to put that line back on, sorry. Completely individual days and different and different times. You just pick what you want. Just make sure when you've done it, you click apply down at the bottom there. On this video, I'm just going to put everything back on continuous. There we go. Apply. Linkage action. So as we were talking about the notifications, they're all listed down the side here. So you get full screen monitoring. We're going to use that. 
What that means is if you were watching a split screen, so say you had four pictures up on the telly right now, when somebody crosses the line, it would only bring up that one camera where the line is getting used. And then after about five seconds, it goes back to the split screen again of the four cameras. Audible warning, if somebody crosses the line, it makes an audible noise, which you'll also hear in this video. Notify surveillance center, that's the push notification to your mobile phone. I'm not going to use that just now. Send an email, it can send you snapshots to your email address or upload it to your personal cloud storage. But on this video, we're just going to use these two at the top here. Just remember to click, click apply. And that is the setup on it. So we've got our arm and schedule in, it's on continuous. We've got our area, which is great. So that's in as well. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the live view, which is up the top left there. And this is the camera we're going to use. So I'll just show you the line, just so you can see it for yourself. It should appear. See the blue line right across here? So you know it is actually set up. You can you can have it so you can view the line at all times, or you can actually see where it says high VCA, VCA info. You just click that, it gets rid of it. It's up to you if you want it. So what I'll do is I'll bring up all the pictures. So I'm going to head outside and I'm going to cross the line myself so you can see what happens. And you should see that the, the pictures will just suddenly change into one and then it'll flip back after five seconds and you should also hear an audible noise. So here I go. You're going to hear an audible noise as I'm heading out the door here because we've got a chime on the, the alarm system. So just ignore the first one. When you see the picture change, you should hear a noise on that, so you know it's the right one. So you should have had that working up on the telly there. I can see it's worked because up in the top right hand corner we'll see a number two which means that the line has been crossed twice. So that's quite a handy thing if you came in in the morning and you see a notification up there on the bell you know something's happened or somebody's crossed the line. So what you do is as a quickly rather than if you want to see what's crossed the line all you do is you just go up to the top and click on the bell. It'll show you all the the line crossings, I've got quite a few because I have been doing this a few times today. So it tells you here, just using the top one, the date, the month, the year and the time of the line crossing. And again, you can see I rake them over the last few days. So what I'll do is we'll just use the very top one. So you just click play and we'll just expand that so you can see it. You get a before, a during and an after. So I'll just skip it along a wee bit, try and speed it up. There we go. So you should see me coming around the corner now. There we go. So back up to the top right, we'll just close that down. Close that down again. So the other feature we were talking about was intrusion detection. So we'll show you where that is as well. So we'll just right click the mouse and go into the set system settings again. It's pretty much in the same place. So event, smart event, and you just pick your camera. So we were on the side camera there. So what we'll do is we'll just switch off that line crossing just now. We'll change it to intrusion detection. Now what that is, it's very similar in a way to the line crossing. So say the camera was up really high and you can see the around your car. If you enable it, what you do is you basically draw a box. So we'll draw the area. I'm just going to zoom in again so you can get a better view of that. 
So say your car's in the drive here, you just use the mouse, you create a box. Should see that okay, yeah. So your car's in the, the centre of the box. If somebody walks around the box, it doesn't notify you. But if somebody enters the box, that's when you get a notification to say somebody's at your car. Again, the same settings apply. You can pick the times and the days that these notifications come to you and also what kind of notifications that you'll receive. Just make sure when you've done it to click apply. So that's really the demonstration and uh, the settings on there as well. So I'll just zoom you back out again. Other thing I forgot to tell you is on both of these you do have a sensitivity section. So if you want to if you want it to be really sensitive, you take it right up to 100. And likewise, the other way, if you want it to be less sensitive. And again, that is also the same for line crossing. The sensitivity adjuster is there also. What I'll do is I'm going to cut the video here. And I'm going to set up, at the end of this video, I'll show you what kind of notifications you'll receive on your, on your mobile phone if you've got an app. You'll see the notification coming through from the line crossing and uh, you can see what you can do with the app after that. So I'll just cut it here and we'll see you back here in a second. Okay, we're now live on the app. And the demonstration I'm going to do is I'm going to trip that camera once again. And this time you can see the notification coming through to your smartphone and what you'll be able to do with it from then on. So here we go. I'm going to head round the side and all being well, I should get a notification coming through. Depends on the speed of the internet. There we go. So line crossing has been detected. Down the bottom you'll see a notification with a one on it. So it's had one notification. So if we click on that, you'll see line crossing detection. It'll give you the time. And it says from the side camera they'll be labeled exactly to your specification of your of your system so we'll just give it a couple of seconds because it needs to load a film clip here for too quick it'll just come up with no video so hopefully now it's ready so we'll just open it so you can see me walking across there at the exact event and if we click playback where it's highlighted in red down at the bottom we should load a video up there we go. So same as before, you've got a, a before, a during and an after. So I won't do the whole the whole clip where there you see me starting to come out there. Because you're streaming it down the internet, it does delay a little bit. That's why you sort of see me stopping as I'm walking. But the actual recording on the, the machine at the at the site will be flowing perfectly. Okay, so that's you. So we'll just click back. And again, the notification will stay there until you actually delete it. So you just delete it by click and hold, click delete, gets rid of it, that's you back to the start. I hope you found the video helpful and we'll maybe see you on the next one. Again, the stuff is all working down here at our showroom in Dalgetty Bay if you want to see it in person. Uh, until then, thanks for now, goodbye.